Hi, this story is also about very old plants, but not so old as Carboniferous giant ferns. However, this ferns is bigger than giant ferns. So we call them tree ferns. Tree ferns. So tree ferns has have unusual feature. Their stem is palm like so it looks like it's woody. It's actually not. So idea of fern grows vertical is simple. Many ferns can grow with rhizomes, like this one, for example. It has a rhizome which just crawl and sometimes it can claim the bigger trees. This is a black structure. So tree ferns, they made the rhizome go up. And this pose multiple significant difficulties, partly solvable, partly unsolvable. So first of all, well, this is what botany we call corner tree. So corner tree is a situation when the structure has giant leaves and necessarily corner tree must have very thick stem. However, there is a difficulty. Thick stems and ferns is not easy to make because ferns do not have secondary thickening like most of seed plants do. Well, how they solve the problem? One of solution is to make multiple roots, roots which cover stems and then they provide additional thickness. Second possibility is to cover stem with remains of leaves. So these remains will provide additional cover. But still there is a one more difficulty in front stems. They do not only lack secondary thickening, but also lack true bark. In that case they might no way to make anything bark-like. So in addition to leaves, bases, roots, many tree ferns also covered with multiple hairs. These hairs have the same function as a bark. They try to isolate stem from outside world. So most importantly, they lower desiccation. So desiccation in a tree ferns is still extremely high. So which limit distribution on tree ferns to the very wet tropical regions? So tree ferns typically grow in the wet tropical regions, mostly because the stem will otherwise desiccate very fast. So these are problems which they solved. By the way, tree ferns start to grow not like a typical seed plant tree. So remember young seed plant like this well, cocoa tree, first of all, start to go up, right? So, whereas young tree fern, like this one, or this one, or this one is a bigger one. So, they at first grow like any other fern but they increase the diameter of stem, increase, 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 and when they reach significant thickness, they start to go up. So that's a different strategy of growth. But more importantly, ferns always start their life from spores, which means there is a, well, unsolvable problem. Problem of relative sizes of the fern plant, which is very big. Actually, these three guys are very young, so they might grow much bigger. And spore, because spore is just one cell. When spore germinates in ferns, it will make gametophyte. It's a very small protelium, which is like few millimeters. And this is a situation like, imagine elephant, which make offspring of that size. Of course, for the mother elephant it is not possible to control or guard or do anything with offspring which is so radically different from her own size. Fortunately, elephants give birth for the big, nice elephant, which is newborn elephant, is almost like a cow, a really big one, right? However, newborn fern 
is extremely small. Do you see the difference? So they have two different strategies, and this is a conflict. Firms cannot control their next generation in the same way like seed plants do. So that was, by the way, one of reasons of seed origin. To they made a controlled, controlled process of making offspring. Well, birth control, you can say that. Ferns can't. So, and that made them kind of like dead end in evolution, but they're still wonderfully attractive. I went, I kind of, well, uh, in a tree fern forest, they always big structures which start young leaves like, like a transformer. They're very compact, spiral structures, and then they open, 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 and make a big leaf. So this is one of Australian tree ferns. This also grows in Australia. This is South American blacknum, and blacknum has additional interesting features, not related to the tree fern habit, but just since we see that. So in blacknum leaves are two sorts. One leaf, one sort of leaf is just for photosynthesis, and the other sort of leaf is for spore production. So they have some division between sporophylls and typical leaves. Anyway, tree ferns are wonderful, well, I would say jewel of tropical forests, and they're always nice to keep them in greenhouse. Only one problem, when they reach the ceiling, well, I don't know what to do. Thank you.